summer. I love the light clothing, I love the warmth, and this is a makeup look that is completely non-toxic, vegan, cruelty-free, that can go with any kind of summer night out look. These are all the products I have used. I will put a list down in the description below, and I've also mentioned them throughout the video, so let's get started. First, I'm just putting a little bit of lip balm on and going ahead and curling my lashes just to get that out of the way. First things first, I'm coming in with the Hint Duet Perfecting Concealer in Medium. Um, this is such an amazing, amazing concealer, whether it be vegan or non-vegan. I really have not found something that covers so absolutely well. So I'm just doing my under eye area, my eye area, I'm using that as a primer for the eyeshadow that I'll put on later, and basically my T-zone. That's where I need the most coverage, and this works all day long, and it works really, really well. Now I'm coming in with the Alima Pure powder, the Satin Matte Foundation powder, and I'm just putting that everywhere else on my face. This is an all-time favorite. If you follow my channel, you absolutely know that I am truly devoted to this product. Um, I love Alima Pure for their powders. And also, um, both the bronzer and the uh, satin matte foundation are from Alima Pure, and that's what I'm coming in with now. Just going through with the bronzer in Trinidad, um, just along the places where the sun would hit my face. I love a bright pink blush, and this is my absolute favorite cruelty-free, non-toxic blush. Um, this vibrant pink just really brings a lot of color to my skin tone, and I really, really love it. Now moving on to brows, I am still using the Hint uh, Eyebrow Definer in Espresso, and I really like it. If you've watched another video where I've used this before, I wasn't sure if I liked it because it was a little bit dry, but let me tell you, it is dry. However, it stays on all day long, it never transfers, it does not smudge, it's a really great product, and I love that you can also use it as an eyeliner if you choose. So I'm just filling in my brows here, and I really think this is a great color, um, and I would highly recommend this product to anybody who's looking for an eyebrow definer. I just like to define my eyebrows so they look a little bit better than they normally do and not make them look super crazy or super fake. Okay, moving forward to eyeshadows. I have Mother Bear's Handmade Eyeshadows. Absolutely cannot say enough about these eyeshadows. I'm coming in now with the color Peach just all over the lid just to give a nice uh, color to everything before I start, a good base. These colors are absolutely gorgeous. Um, probably the best eyeshadow that I've ever used, whether it be a natural product or not, which is saying quite a lot. Um, this matte brick red is such a gorgeous color for summer. You want to think gold and, and really warm tones, and I really, really like this shade. So I'm just doing this shade on my lids and then up into my crease just a touch. And I'm coming in a little bit underneath the eyes as well just to kind of give myself almost like a definition of color under the eye but not so severe. Now coming in with a little bit bigger of a brush and just blending out. This color is great because it really blends quite well. And I'll blend a little bit later as well. Okay, now I'm coming in with this rose gold, which is something that Angelica, the owner, sent me. And as you can tell from my smile while I'm applying this, this is the first time I've applied it, and I really love this. It's such a beautiful, beautiful rose gold. I'm putting it in the corners of my eyes as a highlight, and then just along um, the eyelash line and the lid. It really completely transforms this look. Now moving on to mascara and eyeliner, I'm just using uh, this pencil in my waterline. I've recently switched over to all Zuzu Luxe kind of eyeliners and mascara just because I wanted to have something that was completely vegan. This liquid eyeliner is my absolute favorite natural eyeliner that I've tried and I've stuck with it for so many years. It works really well, it's quite precise, and it really does not run unless you're like super sweaty. But even under those conditions, it stands up. So it's definitely a favorite of mine. And moving on to mascara, this is the Zuzu Luxe Mascara in Onyx, and I'm just doing quite a few coats. I'm not planning on using eyelashes in this look, so I'm really building up the mascara. However, if you do want to use eyelashes, a company that I recommend that is cruelty-free that I use on stage a lot is called House of Lashes, and my favorite lashes from House of Lashes are called Siren.
Okay, now just blending some more of those colors. Now moving on to lips. I wanted to add a nice pop of color. That's what I think of when I think of summer. Um, neither one of these products are matte, so I'm going to do what I can to mattify. So that is by putting a little bit more powder onto my lips, making sure they're nice and dry. And now I'm lining my entire lip with a red pencil. This pencil has a little bit more of a pink undertone to it than the lipstick that I'm putting on, but I find that when they work together, they give a really beautiful color. I like to slightly, slightly, ever so slightly overdraw the top lip. Um, it just kind of gives a little bit better shape to my lip shape. This is a really vibrant lipstick for a natural brand, and I'd say that it is semi-matte. So adding the lip liner and the powder is something that really, really helps. And there you have it, it's all done. This is a great look for a summer night out. So if you go on a date or you go out to dinner, keeping your hair pulled back is a foolproof way to fight frizz and any sweaty hair mishaps. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this look and let me know if you try any of these colors out or any of these products out. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm.